The first thing I'd wanted to do is know a good deal more about Thomas Springer. It's really hard to know much about him with only this. So I go track down. Luckily, I can find him in tax lists, find out uh, what he's listed as owning at different moments, how much he paid. I can find his, his will. I can find the record of his marriage and his children's birth in the local church. And I can find the deeds of his sales. So I want to find out as much as I can about him. And then I want to find out about other people who live in, in his Mill Creek 100 or uh, Newcastle County, those other people on the tax list, what uh, their lives are like, how much land they own, what possessions they have, so that I can tell, is this man typical or is he exceptional in some way? And for that, I'd want to then locate the document in the context of other documents, particularly in, in this region, and compare this inventory with the inventory of other people in northern Delaware in this time period, maybe take a 10-year period of time and, and see of people who die and paying attention to how old they are when they die, what do they own, how much is it valued at. So I think that first Thomas Springer, find out more about him and then find out more about uh, the other people around him in his community and what's going on in the region in general. I think what's interesting, uh, the other final context is the context of change in material culture and probably What's most interesting there is the house itself because it's, it's very easy to have an image of 18th century houses and early 19th century houses as being several different rooms, high style, uh, with separate parlors, and bedrooms, uh, a central hall in the Georgian style. That's what you see when you go to most historic houses because the ones that have been saved are these very nice houses of well-to-do people. And here's a, a really ordinary house. It's small. We'd have a hard time being comfortable living in this space. And there's no evidence particularly that Thomas Springer or Elizabeth Springer or their children had a hard time living in this space. And it, this is, as it turns out, is, is extremely typical. Most people in the early 19th century are still living in one or two room houses made of wood, not made of brick, not fancy, nothing permanent, nothing meant to last all that long.